This is Habitation 101, Fat Reduction Treatment, explained by the experts at Fab Silhouette. Remember to subscribe and press the bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. If there's any topic you want us to cover on this channel, please put it on the comments below and we will make sure to make a video to give you the knowledge and the information. Disclaimer, anything said on this channel, anything said today on this video is based on our knowledge, experience, and day-to-day -day activities on body treatments done on real clients in real time with real results. These are the 10 things you need to know about ultrasonic cavitation from the experts at Fab Silhouette. Number one, what is ultrasonic cavitation? Number two, is ultrasonic cavitation the right treatment for you? Number three, who cannot receive ultrasonic cavitation. Number four, benefits and results. Number five, maintenance. Number six, areas of focus. Number seven, can I get ultrasonic cavitation after cavitation, lipo, or laser lipo, or BPL, or any cosmetic surgery. Number eight, for best results, can I combine cavitation with other services and body treatments. Number nine, cost of treatments and how many treatments you need. And number 10, videos of real clients with real issues, getting cavitation done on their bodies in real time here on Fab Silhouette. What is ultrasonic cavitation? Ultrasonic cavitation, also called ultrasound liposuction. It's a non-surgical procedure. Unlike traditional tummy tucks or liposuction, there's no downtime, no knives, it's non-invasive, there's no anesthesia, and there's definitely no surgery. <laughs> Ultrasound destroys intractable fat cells using low frequency sound waves without causing any damage to any tissues or any organs. Once the fat cell membranes which are called adipose tissue, are destroyed. The fat is discharged between the cells, turned into protein, and then changed into free fatty acids and glycerol. Then the fatty acids are moved to the liver where they decay and they are removed from the body through your normal lymphatic system. Can you get ultrasonic cavitation? Are you the right candidate for this treatment? Is this treatment gonna be effective for you? Yes. And it depends on your age, it depends on your lifestyle choices, and it depends on your physical state. So if you're a person that is a little overweight and have fat deposits in certain areas that you're not happy with, ultra cavitation is right for you. If you're a person that works out and there are pockets or areas or places that have fat that you want to get rid of in addition to your workout because the workout you're doing is not being as efficient as you wished, this is the right treatment for you. If you're a person that is trying to live a better lifestyle, you're changing your diet because you want to look better and feel better and you have extra fat deposits, and you're a healthy person, you don't have medical issues, and you just want to
to have this treatment to enhance a little bit of your curves and reduce those extra inches that are bothering you and you're making changes as you go and you want to do ultrasonic cavitation as an addition to the things you are doing already, then yes, this is right for you. So this is an efficient fat reduction treatment that is right for everyone. Who are the people that cannot get ultrasonic cavitation? Well, there are contraindications to this treatment, just like any other treatment. And to be safe, and to be healthy, and to make sure that you're doing the right thing for you, if you have the following conditions, you cannot get ultrasonic cavitation. Number one, acute or contagious diseases. Number two, HIV. Number three, history of cancer. Number four, kidney or liver failure. Number five, fatty liver. Number six, implants or any other electronic devices in your body or metals. And epilepsy or MS. Benefits and results are, it releases the fat cells within the muscles and returns oxygenation to the muscles and the body. So when you have a lot of fat accumulated and it's dense fat, there's no circulation in there. There's no oxygen flowing through those muscles. If you're not moving a lot, it's difficult for that fat to go anywhere because you're not, you know, moving it along to be expelled by the system. So this treatment helps with uh, elimination of the, that fat that's in between those muscles. It also helps dissolve uh, the fat in the muscles in addition to reducing cellulite. So it reduces cellulite because when the skin is not firm because the fat has extended the skin, when the fat is being reduced at the same time, this treatment contracts the skin and helps reduce cellulite. And cellulite is really bubbles of fat. So when you're breaking those bubbles of fat, there's a smoother and more clear tone on the skin in that area. Another thing is um, this promotes blood circulation and lymphatic circulation. So again, if your blood is circulating, your lymphatic system is circulating because you're cleansing and de detoxing as you go. So this is a great benefit for this treatment. And it reaffirms and tones the full body because when you're eliminating the fat and your lymphatic system is clearing, the full body reaffirms and tones as well as those areas in particular. And uh, you help reduce muscle tension because uh, the massage that is done with the treatment, with the machine itself, with this part of the machine and the manual lymphatic drainage that we do in addition to that, helps reduce the muscle tension in those areas. Many times, your therapist will include manual lymphatic drainage in addition to your ultrasonic cavitation treatment to give you the best results possible. Since ultrasonic cavitation turns the fat into liquid fat, basically, into protein and fatty acids that are absorbed and later expelled from the body, getting a lymphatic drainage massage in addition to this service will only enhance your results much, much better. What areas of focus can cavitation be done on the body? Basically, you can get cavitation done in your arms, abdominals, waist, behind the back, flanks, behind the buttocks, uh, this area here, hamstrings, uh, the hips. If you have bigger hips, you can work 
cavitation on the hips. It's best if you work one area at a time because the consistent flow of energy that it takes to move that fat and to expel that fat from the body in a natural way is more consistent if you work that area, you know, more and more one at a time than jumping from one area to the other and not getting any results at all. So the results you will get are more positive when you do one area at a time and then you start seeing the loss of fat and inches in those particular areas and then you can jump to another area of your body. Can you get cavitation after liposuction, uh, BBL, Lipo 360 or any kind of cosmetic surgery? Yes. The thing you have to look out for is after surgery, there's a period Spot of massage? healing I mean, that you need those to go massages through are known naturally. To be unpleasant. Lymphatic drainage massage you're gonna have like a lot for of those services of post-op are hard very enough, efficient that is gonna be and ultrasonic cavitation makes it a little better to remove that extra fat that's lingering around. But you should wait a period of after, maybe two months after surgery, to incorporate any kind of body treatment or machinery as cavitation um, is because that fat is still vulnerable and you could still work it and it could still expel more uh, fat cells out of your body than you need. And this is an efficient way of also assisting the uh, process along, but you do need to wait a period of time you can always consult your doctor and they could give you the correct advice. But can you combine ultrasonic cavitation with other services? Yes, you can. You can get, in addition to the cavitation, you can get radio frequency, which is uh, electric waves combined with infrared lights helps to reduce cellulite, reduce fat, and firm and tone the skin. You can do wood therapy, which is a therapy done by wooden tools, specifically formulated and created for body contouring. You can use vacuum therapy, which helps move and remove that lingering fat or the fat that we just softened. The vacuum brings it out, so vacuums it out. You can also do that. And you can incorporate manual lymphatic drainage which is good for many, many things. So any of these treatments can be combined with cavitation. And last but not least, how much will it cost to get the service done? How many times a week, a month, or a year can I get these services done for cavitation? The answer is you can come to the spa and get these services two to three times a week for more efficiency for a period of 10, 15, or 20 services. And you could keep maintenance of your body and your fab silhouette through cavitation once a month. And then every six to eight months, you can do a full process again to continually remove those fat cells from your body. The cost is simple. <laughs> it depends on the state. It depends where you are. It depends on the location you are at. But commonly, the price for this service is $85 to $150. And it also depends on how many services you get and how much time they spend with you on each area. So it varies. So you need to have a budget for this kind of service. This is a service that can be done on its own. It can be done in combination with other things and it can be done after cosmetic surgery. So you have
Remember to subscribe and press the bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. We're posting new videos every week on Wellness Wednesdays.